The life is full of opportunities, and your goal is not to miss them. My name is Alex Wright, and that's my life. Hello everybody, and today I would like to show you how to cook national Russian chicken potato pierogi. And for the dough you need 200 grams of sour cream, you also add half of the teaspoon of baking soda, as well as half of the teaspoon of the salt. After this, mix up your three main ingredients together and you can add some soft butter, but don't melt it completely, just a little bit till the point where it can be all the same consistency. After mixing up the sour cream with butter, you should get something like this, which is gonna be a little bit light yellow, yellow color, very soft and smooth. And then you just add flour as much as you need till the point when the dough won't stick anymore. And you could take it with your hands and just like knead it very finely. You will actually need to add a lot of flour to it because the dough is very liquidy and you need to make sure that it doesn't stick to your hands or the board where you knead the dough. After you are done with the dough, please cover it with a towel and put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Just let it sit and kind of like expand, grow a little bit. So they would be ready and very smooth consistency when you will start to actually make the form of your pierogi. Now let's go ahead and start doing our filling. For that we will need some chicken breast, potato, onion. First of all, peel the skin from your potato and then cut it into small square pieces so they would be very easy to eat when you're eating your pierogi. You just do the slices first and then kind of cut them into cubes and it just looks cool and awesome, but it takes time and you should be careful when you're using knife because I actually cut it myself, but that doesn't matter. After we're done with our potato, we can go ahead and start cutting our chicken the same method. Just do small little square pieces so that would be easy to chew while you're eating your pierogi. And also for flavor, chop a quarter of your onion. Now you can make a little circles with the size of your palm for the pierogi. I decided to make them round shape, but you also can make triangle. I actually did both. The first time when I did them were circle and the second time they were triangle. Go ahead, add some salt and pepper and then put your filling. I actually like having a lot of filling in my pierogi, so I put about like two and a half tablespoons of chicken and potato and then kind of like squeeze it all together on the sides, on the edges. They might be not as pretty, but you get a practice and make them circle shape with a little hole on top so they will fry completely and they won't be super juicy inside and you won't end up having like a dumpling. I recommend you to use glass or something like circle shape to make thick circles so then you can expand them using your roller and just put the filling inside of it. Then just do the same process with all your pierogi, put a filling inside, attach the edges together, make the hole, put some salt and pepper and you will be great to go. Put all your pierogi on the waxed paper and then bake them in the oven around 220 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees. 80 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20-25 minutes. After you bake them, they're all ready to eat and they look absolutely gorgeous and they taste delicious. So please share with your family this recipe and enjoy together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will give a try to this recipe and also experience my national Russian traditional food, which we usually eat with our families. And I got this recipe from my grandmother and when she cooks it, it's absolutely delicious and I'm proud of myself that it turned out as good as she does it.